Okay, so good morning everyone again for the records. I hope we are holding well. It's a new week, it's Monday. I believe we are energetic because uh you know more things are coming. I believe you have been seeing changes and improvements in our knowledge. And it's already going to be the very first month of 10 Academy. So I believe the excitement is still like on the very high level and the ladies you are progressing. And I believe no one is stuck um, with what we are doing. So yeah, welcome to another week and welcome to today's stand up. But before we get started, can I ask how is everyone doing? How is the energy level? How is it? How is it? Tell us. You can tell us it's great or it's in the middle or it's bad. Any reactions? Any reactions? Any reactions? Okay, I'm seeing a few people who are saying that it's great on their side. Uh, okay, I'm seeing more people are saying it's great on their side. Of course, let's keep it up. Let's keep up the same energy. And of course, also, if it's not like very, very okay, I'm telling you, keep going, keep going. It's life. It will be okay probably tomorrow or even next week. You never know, but keep your energy level up either way. If the body doesn't want it or not physically or mentally. So yeah, welcome to today's stand up again. And let's get started with our routine. How was last week in particular? And uh, how are you looking forward to this week? Do you have any question or discuss, a discussion point you want to raise? Anything, anything. Let's go ahead and start to raise hands. Sorry. anyone who has anything to tell us and of course we should be having something to share let's go ahead let's be quick with it let's be quick with it how was last week in general um you know the whole experience with the group work and group presentation and also how are you looking forward to this week and do you have any blocker or challenge do you want us to talk about Let's raise hands, let's speak up, because we also, uh, one of the essence of stand up is to raise the kind of uh, routine that is in different companies out here, especially for remote companies. Majority of the companies, they meet on a daily basis to give each other updates. How was yesterday? What are you planning to do today? So we also hold this kind of daily stand up so that we can create that culture in ourselves being able to speak up about what we have been doing and presenting about our work or asking questions to different departments so that's the whole essence of stand up so that means when we call up to speak up be part of the first people to raise hands you do not want to be the sleeping colleague in a company that you will join be the first person to raise hand say something even when you do not have any question or blocker say something just anything you want to say always okay i'm seeing like two sharp people already with their hands on okay i'm seeing three let's keep raising hands moving on okay we will go on a queue ahmed you can go first hello good morning everyone good morning, good morning uh there is no specific thing about uh, the last week uh but uh, i think the most important uh thing was uh working on a team so uh, i see the project of this week also will be in teams so this is will help us to uh to train on this skill of how we can communicate with uh, each others and uh, for doing specific something because you already uh, working on projects by yourself so uh, you will learn more how to divide tasks how to communicate with others so uh, I think this is will be uh, another challenge uh, challenging week uh, to develop these skills 
Absolutely. Amazing, Ahmed. Thank you for sharing that. That's a crucial point. You have got the experience of working in teams in the previous week, and you know you believe this week is going to be like manageable in terms of how you're going to be working together. That's a good one. Keep it up, Ahmed. Um, let's hear from Enoch. Good morning. Good mo morning. Uh, okay, so uh, I think the last time we met was on uh, Thursday. Uh, our group uh, presented uh, the assignment we had. Uh, like most people, we did face uh, a lot of technical challenges. Uh, I hope we can do uh, we can do better this week. And uh, yeah. and after the presentation, uh, we had uh, much needed rest for three days. So that was that was nice. Okay, that's super amazing, Genok. Uh, thanks for sharing that. And of course, yeah, the rest was so much needed because we had to fuel up for this week. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, let's hear from Hilary. Hilary, good morning. Good morning. Um, so uh, last week was amazing. Um, I, I got to uh, 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 first time to uh, be in groups and uh, and collaborate. So yeah, even though we were two, but uh, we we managed. Uh, actually, the previous weeks have also been helpful to, uh, about the um, the different ways to collaborate and communicate using different tools like Slack um, and um, and Notion and and also Trello. So it was amazing to uh, apply those different tools for management. And I'm looking forward to this group, uh, this this um, this week's challenge. Also, I'm looking at the document group work policy, and I'm seeing that we have groups one to six, but um, the names are not there for. Uh, I'm I'm not seeing any names, but I'm 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 thinking maybe it will be covered. It will be covered in in the in the session for intro to challenge documents. So it can be clarified. Okay, absolutely here. Yeah, they are going to be clarifying the groups um, in the next session. Yeah, it's the next session after stand up. Um, yeah, when there was intro to this week's coding challenge. So yeah, they're going to be clarifying that. Absolutely. Let's hear from Salam Mawit. Good morning to you and everybody. Um, last week was um, the last two weeks, apparently, were good weeks, and we had uh, presentations, and that was that was something that was new and for me in Khan Academy. So that was an interesting part of the week as well. And we also had, I think, by far the longest break since we started this training. So we had a long weekend, which is good. So I feel like everybody here is well rested and I'm ready for the coming week. Yeah, absolutely. I can hear the long uh, programs weekend was so much needed. So yeah, hope we are all fueled up to navigate this week. Absolutely. Thanks for sharing, Salama. How about you, Bethlehem? Good morning. Okay, good morning. So the past two weeks were, I would say, good so far. We were working in groups and we were collaborating. We were trying to solve our problems, our blockers. We were working together. And finally, we had a good presentation, a good feedback. So that was motivating. And it was good, I would say, so far. Okay, that's super amazing. By the way, what is question? Uh, what did you do with the group after receiving the feedback? Did you chat about it again, or did you rest it there? Uh, you know, how was it? How was the conversation like? Were you asking me or everyone else? Yeah, you. You specifically, Beckham. 
you were asking me how the group communication was? Uh, yeah, after receiving the feedback, after you have presented and received the feedback, mm -hmm. how was it after? Did you uh, have a conversation about the feedbacks you received? Or did it like, happen to be a break, like we are done completely and you did not chat again? How was it? Um, I mean, we didn't uh, chat more about our feedback. We just, we were just glad that our presentation was good and we received a good feedback. Okay, that's great as well. That's okay as well. But uh, also moving forward, especially when you received feedbacks that tell you that there is some areas of improvement you can focus on, uh, it's better also to go back in the group and then talk about it. I'm saying this like generally to everyone. Uh, go back in the group, talk about it, you know, see if anyone, everyone understands that feedback you received. Or if you would actually go through it again, implement the, uh, the feedback and see how it turns out. I mean, anything you can do after receiving the feedback, it's okay to not just shut everything up, but, you know, do something about it. Also, when it was good, of course, go ahead and appreciate your colleagues that they made it possible for all of you. Yeah, I mean, our feedback was was a good feedback. So we just appreciated each other and how hard we had worked. Oh, that's super amazing, super amazing. And congratulations again to, to you guys. Yeah, uh, okay. How about others? Let's see more people raising hands because I know we are ready to speak. Just raise hand and say something. Hello. You can raise your hand. Let's not wait to be called out. Hello, everyone. The queue is still empty. The queue is still empty. The queue is still empty. I still encourage you to raise your hand and say something. Really? Because I guess if we called your name, you would say something. So let's not wait to, let's not develop that culture of being called out for you to be able to speak. You can raise your hand and share something. The queue is still empty. The queue is still empty. Still waiting, still waiting. The queue is empty. You share us how was last week in general, any learnings, anything you're taking to this week, any question you have, any blocker, anything you're curious to know, Anything. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Should we call it a meeting? That wouldn't be okay. That wouldn't be okay. Raise hands, raise hands. Okay, sure, Yabis, go ahead. Okay, good morning, everyone. Good, good morning. Uh, last week was good. Uh, we were able to uh, work on group and also uh, present. And uh, we had a feedback and... Uh, Okay, I guess yeah, this internet is not stable, so we go keep going for now. Hey, Abyss, are you back? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? 
yeah we can go ahead again. sorry it blocks me out the network so we we uh notes the, the the areas that we could improve on so it was a great week and we hope we also uh, was able to rest on sunday uh, so it was a great week okay that's, that's super amazing yeah this uh keep it up on your side as well and i'm happy that you rested yeah okay um i can give this time to emptina emptina Um, yes. Anything what, what to say? Uh, no. Can you hear me? Actually. Yeah, we can hear you. Great. Uh, no, I don't have anything to 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 share at the moment. Uh, but just make sure to join the next session and ask all the questions you can come up with, please. And um, yeah, that's it. Okay. Great. Great. Uh, thanks for that heads up. Um, so I wanted, okay, some of the announcements for today before we close them, uh, is that, of course, we are starting week five. You can check up the schedule. If you see that it's not like, uh, let me show you sometimes how it occurs. For you to see more other weeks, like the plan for other weeks, there is something you click. There are some three dots that say, see more so that's where you have to click let me share my screen quickly so you can see that when you open the link to the schedule actually this is the only link we are going to be using for the rest of the week so to 12. that means when you want to see something else you can see that everything ends on may 17. so you come and click here you will be able to see the rest of the week's agenda and yeah that is it uh something else i wanted to show you um okay one announcement like quick announcement we are going to be having sessions that will be happening every friday 10 30 a.m utc preferably uh that are going to be trainee-led conversations so what is a trainee-led conversation that is a session that is led by trainees so every week we select two people. I'm going to be sending you a link for you to see who is your partner and what date are you going to presenting. So what is the whole format of trainee-led conversation and what is its main purpose? So the very first purpose, uh, now let me tell you how it's designed so that uh, you understand the purpose. So mainly in the trainee-led conversation, we have two people from the trainees who get ready to, to present to us about anything, like something you believe in, any upcoming technology, something that have worked for you before, anything you want to teach us. If you know TED Talks, TED Talks, you already can tell what it will be uh, the formats of our session, TED Talks. So you deliver it in a way of TED Talks. So every Friday, when you see that your date is upcoming, I create a group with you and your partner only and some of the other people in the careers team where we go and prepare your presentation. Like or from Monday, we decide, you both decide um, what topic are you going to deliver on and then you share with us that topic and then we have a discussion about it. Like, is it something very, very, uh, that can benefit the whole audience which means the whole 10 academic community and then uh when the topic is approved we go ahead to do more research you you two both of you you do the research on uh how what you want to deliver exactly in that topic and then on wednesdays we start to develop a powerpoint presentation for that certain thing on Thursday, we do the mock-up presentation where I join with the careers team and you and your teammates, you just go through the presentation. It's like a mock presentation for, you, for us to understand how you are going to be delivering it, to give you different feedbacks and to understand, like, is it going to be as exciting and fun and interactive, you know, on Friday? 
And then on Friday, you come here during that session and you teach us about that something, that what you developed or what you decided to teach us with uh, your team, I mean, with your teammate. So what is the whole purpose of all this? Is for us to be able to develop kind of our storytelling um, effort, if I can call it like effort, storytelling effort, in a way that when you get to join a certain company and you are told to deliver about something random or to teach the team about something you believe in, you will always be having an idea of what to say. I'm telling you that's part of the cultures of so many companies where they just in their monthly meetings or weekly meetings they call out people just to talk about something so we want to develop that kind of cultures in you as an academy um trainees we did this in cohort a that's when we started it and when i tell you that it was fun from the preparations on monday to the mock presentations to the presentations themselves it was so much fun. Like everyone really loved hearing from their trainees or learning from their fellow trainees. And of course, increases bonding and, you know, everything we need in a community, in a very perfect community, like an academic community. So who are going to be starting this, this week? It's Martin and it's Shayla. Martin and Shayla, they are the ones who are going to be presenting this week. So how is the excitement? Are you guys excited to be knowing what, you know, they will deliver on? Any reactions? Anything? Anything? Any excitement? Okay, I can see Teka is excited, but let's see. Okay, I can see Shayla is already excited to be <laughs> delivering the session. That's super amazing. Thank you guys for the reaction. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's going to be a fun, engaging session. So yeah, trainees led conversation. Every Friday, you will be seeing it on the schedule. I'll share the link in all resources for you to see your teammates and also to see what date you are going to be presenting. OK, that is the very first thing. Second thing, I will share it like off record. Uh, I will stop the recording. Like stand up is done. 